Hi, I'm Charlie Frey. I'm one of the PAs from Long Island Bone and Joint. I'm showing you how to use a abduction sling uh, after your shoulder procedure. Uh, this is how it's properly positioned uh, after the shoulder arthroscopy. Make sure your thumb is in the loop that uh, is right at the end of the sling. Uh, one option for placement of this sling is the strap that goes around the shoulder, not the one that's connected to the top of the sling here, the one that's connected to the pillow. You can adjust that by taking, undoing the Velcro strap here, going underneath the arm around your torso, and reconnecting it to the same loop. Some people find that it's more comfortable uh, to be around the waist than around the shoulder. The uh, abduction pillow, the sling should be on at all times. The only time it can be taken off is when you go in the shower. Uh, the proper way to do that is first undo this Velcro strap in the front, thumb out. You can relax your elbow at your side. The second strap here, you can undo. Makes it easier if you connect it to the strap when you're undoing it. Connect it to itself. And then you do this one as well. At this point, you lean over with this abduction with the pillow underneath still. You lean, you're leaning over it, letting your arm come down to your side like this. You put something underneath the arm uh, in position so the arm is held away from the body. You can stand back up. Something ideally does not take on water, but a, a towel will suffice if you need to. The, uh, you take your shower and leaving the incisions dry for the first week until you see us, and then you can get them wet afterwards assuming everything looks good with the incisions at that point. To get the sling back on, leaning over, making sure that the arm is held away from the body, not lifting it, just dropping down on its own, uh, but you need to lean over enough so it is doing that. You grab the sling underneath the elbow again, reaching around to grab the one strap here, and you can do this with your hand, that's fine. You just cannot lift the arm. strap around the waist, leaning over and grab the strap around the neck. There's two rings here. The closest ring is what this one is going to go into. Arm in the sling. You, bring, you slide your elbow back. It will hurt to some degree. Any kind of movement in the shoulder. Slide your elbow back. This goes back through the ring. And you're properly positioned. The thumb should go through this ring right here, the cloth ring. And then you just readjust the straps to a comfortable position. So to do your pendulum exercises uh, on a daily basis, you just undo this one strap here, out the loop, thumb out of the loop here, and at the same time you can do your elbow range of motion, straighten out your elbow all the way up, bend it all the way up. Lean over, then you can do your pendulum exercises, and you want to uh, move it so you have a circle that's about a foot and a half in diameter. And that's what you do on a daily basis just to get your shoulder and your elbow moving. At the same time, moving your hand around is a good thing. That will help control swelling and also stiffness in the hand. If you have a pump in your shoulder after surgery, that will come out uh, in three days. Uh, have someone or you can pull it out yourself. Uh, it's a very small thin catheter. It does go in your shoulder for about four inches or so. So when you're doing it, you should be sitting down. Uh, and again, it would be ideal if a family member takes that out for you. Uh, it just slides right out, very thin little catheter. Uh, oftentimes when you take the dressing off the third day of the surgery, it'll be attached to that, so it may slide out with that. If not, you just pull it out on its own. The uh, incisions should stay dry uh, until you see us, which is about a week to 10 days after surgery. At that point, we look at the incisions and advise whether you can get it wet or not. So this is the proper placement of it. It should not be taking off at all. Um, 
and uh, your arm should not come down to your side. You should not be lifting your arm up on under your own power because that can ruin the repair very, very easily. For six weeks, this needs to be on uh, until the incision, until the repair has healed. And that's it. Thank you.